everybody. Morning. Welcome to Messy Church. It's going to be a great one today. You may have not realised, but Messy Church Day is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's different because, well, we're not really here. Uh, this has been pre-recorded. All of Messy Church is pre-recorded today. The team have done all of their craft and the stories and the prayers and everything is pre-recorded because, well, we're all off having a rest. And today is all about having a rest and we're going to look at that a little bit further on. But um, Adele, what month is it this month? Uh, uh, it is, is it in August? No! It's July? It's still July. It's still July. It's still okay. July. Because uh, we recorded, I didn't know. No, it's July. <laughs> yeah, it's July. So it's the 24th of July, uh, so we're at the end of July. But what do we always do? I think we do birthdays, don't we, Barry? We always do birthdays. So maybe it's your birthday this July. I know that Rob has had a birthday in July, and I know that Mark has had a birthday in July. But I wonder, maybe you've got a birthday as well. If it's your birthday, then comment along on here and, uh, and say hello. Let us know it's your birthday in July. Uh, we'll watch this later as well. So comment along to anything you're seeing today it'll be great to hear from you and everyone else will be able to see it so that's fantastic but it is the july birthdays so this is for you Have a lovely summer holiday. I'm going to um, give the readings this morning. We've got two, but they're both quite short. First one is from Genesis. By the seventh day, God finished what he had been doing and stopped working. He blessed the seventh day and set it apart as a special day because by that day he had completed his creation and stopped working. So the second one is taken from Matthew and Again, it's quite short too. Okay. Come with me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and put it on you, and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will find rest. For the yoke that I will give you is easy, and the load that I would put on you is light. Have a lovely summer, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> wrestling and in my doubts in my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh you are the peace in my troubled sea silence you won't let go in the questions your truth will hold your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh you are the peace in my troubled sea Oh 
I've got a nice glass of milk. I'm resting. Oh, that gives me an idea. Really? Yeah. I had a nice restful walk today. And that might be something that you might like to do when you're on your holidays. So I went to the woods and I collected lots of things. Like I've collected some fir cones, some sticks and some leaves and some pine needles. And I thought out of those things, I had a really good time collecting them and I'm going to make a bug house. Awesome. For lots of bugs to live in your garden. Do you need milk to make a bug house? No, but you might need a milk carton. Ah, well it's a good job. <laughs> I finished the milk. Hey, make sure that if you uh, use the carton though to actually give it a good wash because you don't want any milk left in the bottom. It could go a bit smelly. Mm, and I don't think bugs are light smelly. No. So first of all, you need to draw a square on your milk carton to be able to cut it out so that you've got a hole to be able to put all of the things that you found in. So Barry's used a craft knife, but you could also use scissors. I would suggest that you get an adult to help with this because although the plastic is quite thin, it's easy to, um, to, to lose your way with the scissors and you might slip. So if you just get uh, your adult to help you, if, you cut, if they cut away a square out of the front, you'll end up with a hole like this. And that's where we're going to place all of our things that we've collected. Awesome. Um, so we're, I'm just gonna layer them up and you have to pack them quite tight um, so that the bugs have somewhere to live. They like really tight little areas. So first of all, I'm going to put, I've found some pine needles, if you can see, and I'm gonna pack those in the bottom. Okay, and that gives it a nice, layer at the bottom there you go nice little bed there for the bugs mm. then the next bit i'm going to put some sticks now I've, I've cut these really into really really small chunks because then they will rest nicely in the bottle if they're too long they'll all fall out you don't want it all to, to destroy as soon as you get it outside because you'll end up having to do it again. If you can get hold of any bamboo, bamboo is really good in bug houses. Yeah. But we didn't we didn't find any bamboo. Be bees like bamboo. So yeah, they're really good for good really good for bees, I've been told. Okay, so we've got a nice layer of sticks. Do you think that's enough, Barry? I reckon we could get a few more in there. A few there. more. Okay. So the sticks make really nice little holes, really nice little gaps because they're all different wiggly shapes. That's looking really cool. What have we got now? We're going to pack some leaves. So I found some leaves on a, on a tree that had been that had broken, so it, all the leaves were um, were dying. So you can see they're all brown, but that means if they're brown, then it means that they're not gonna um, kind of disintegrate in the, in the weather because they're already dead. You won't get slimy leaves because they're already dead. So, pack these in. I thought flat leaves might be quite good because um, other leaves are all different shapes and it's quite difficult and they break quite easily, they're quite brittle. So the leaves that I've chosen were quite um, quite waxy so and they were good. And then just to fill up the top bit, I found some pine cones. And because um, our uh, we need to fill the um, container right to the top, you can push your and um, pine cones right to the top, right to the, the top where the um, spout is. Um, yeah, so Barry's, while we do this, Barry's just put it on its side so that we can really pack it tightly so that we know that they're not going to all fall out. And these create some really nice spaces for the bugs.
Now you can spend a bit of time and get this all fitting absolutely perfectly. But that's not bad to start off with. There you go, there's some pine cones, some leaves, some twigs, and some, uh, and some uh, pine needles. But you can find all different things to put in your bug house. And you might even want to decorate the outside. You could paint the outside, mm. which would look really cool. Yeah. And then once that's done, it can, you can just take it outside and either, um, either uh, stand it up or you could put some string around the handle, around here, and, uh, and tie it up. So it, it um, put it up in a tree or something, which would look really good. So that's awesome. Yeah, so Thank we you. would really love to uh, f see any pictures or videos of you uh, making your bug houses um, and ha really finding out what you've managed to find to put in them. That'd be really cool. Yeah, if you if you make one of these and you see a little bug in there, a spider or a bee or a ladybird or whatever, take a photo of it and send it to us. Send it to me at barry at holysaviour.church and I will show it to everyone at the next Messy Church. That'd be fantastic. Right, thank you Adele. Thank you. See you later. I will live for you. I will walk with you. Be a light for you. For you've called me to. Your Jesus, my friend. On you I can depend Send me out to be alive for you We shout, send us out into the world we live in With our hearts set on fire for you You say every day is a new beginning We will choose to follow be alive for you. We shall send us out into the world we live in, with our hearts set on fire for you. You say every day is a new beginning. We will choose to follow So this month we're thinking about rest um, that God's given us and we were thinking that one of the best places to rest and relax is to enjoy God's creation, the world that he's given us. So we've got a scavenger hunt for you. The idea is that when you're out and about, perhaps outside in the garden or in the park or maybe if you go to the beach or the forest, you can look for some of the things to find these items to meet these clues and then you can either pick you might be able to stick them on a bit of paper if they're tiny or you could perhaps take a photograph of them if they're things that you shouldn't pick up or things that are bigger so the first thing we want you to find is something round to remind you of the world God's given us and then the second thing is something soft to remind you of rest There's something very big to remind you that God is everywhere. And then something very small to remind you that God cares about every part of our lives. And something fragile that breaks easily to remind us to take care of the world. And the final thing, uh, the final category is something heart shaped or red 
to remind you of God's love for us and for the world. So, Kevin, are you up for a challenge? I am, yes. OK, so let's see if Kevin can go and find a few of these things. Three, go. Sorry, I jumped the gun. OK. Let's not cheat. Three, two, one, go. So I don't know how long it's going to take Kevin to find these things. Um, we haven't got a very big guard. So, oh, Kevin. Hello again. That was very quick. Why, oh, thank you. It's all this running practice he does. So, Kevin, what have you got for us? Well, I haven't got every category, but I have got some of them. So, so I, I thought I'd, I'd be quick rather than complete. But uh, you all watching take as long as you need to. So uh, I've got something round, something round, a big stone here, a big stone to remind me of the world that God has given us. Uh, I have something rather smaller, something heart shaped, a leaf that's sorry, trying to get it angled right. Here we go. So heart shaped leaf here to remind us of God's love. And then I've got a few small uh, it's a gravel, really little pebbles. Which you can't see brilliantly. There we go. Uh, something small to remind me that God cares about every part of my life, our lives. And then finally, I've got something very fragile that's uh, rather falling apart. So a little red petal uh, from a flower in our garden that's uh, so fragile it's falling apart in my hand. And that reminds me to take care of the world. So have a go and see what you can find. And remember, if you send some photos into Barry, we can show them at the next Messy Church. But we did have one other idea as well. Because even if you forget to take that bit of paper with you, you can have a go at using natural objects to remind you that God's given us rest. So here we're going to show you a picture we've made. So here you should see a picture of the word rest made out of some of the natural objects we found. So we made the R out of some shells. And then the E is from some rose petals that uh, fell off a couple of roses in our garden. The S is made out of little stones. And then the T is a couple of twigs, I think, from, uh, from another plant in our garden. So have a go at doing the word rest, or if you're feeling really clever, you could do something like God's wonderful world out of things that you've found and send us some photos of them as well. So we hope you have a great time. Have fun. And we'll see you at the next Messy Church after the summer holidays. See you then. Bye. Bye. Well, guys, I wonder, are you busy? I'm busy. You see, I just got this the other day. I don't think Adele's even seen this. This is my year planner that's starting from next September. And it's very exciting because next September we're going to have a lot of things starting. But here it is. Here is my year planner from September to September. And as you can see, it's really busy. Look at all the stuff I've got to do. There's collective worships at the school. There's our new baby and toddler group, Fireflies. There's our new after school club that's going to be in person called Ignite. We've got our youth group called 412. And then for the older ones, we've got 412 plus. There's everything. There's all age worship services in there. There's a light party coming up. There's coffee hubs. There's harvest services. There's everything. It's just really really busy i've already full, uh, f filled up most of this and i'm sure there's probably going to be a lot more to come as well but i wonder do any of you guys ever feel busy i wonder what are you busy with maybe it's school Maybe you've got sports clubs that you're part of, sports teams that you're part of that you've got to do. Maybe there's family activities. Now we can kind of meet together a little bit more safely. Maybe you've got a calendar full of barbecues and visiting friends and family and things like that. Well, it sounds as though I reckon you probably are busy doing quite a lot of good things. But do you think it's important to rest as well. Well, let me tell you, it's very 
important to rest. In fact, the Bible tells us that even God rested. Now, in the, one of the Bible verses that Joe read to us earlier, it said there in Genesis that by the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all of his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it, he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. Now, the Bible tells us that God worked for six days to, to create the world and then he rested on the seventh day. Now, do you think God was tired after all that work of creating the world? I wonder, do you think he was tired? I mean, we'd be tired after working a week, wouldn't we? But God doesn't get tired, but still he rested. And if God rested, then that means that we should rest too. I wonder, how do you rest after you've been busy? Adele, when you're really busy, after you've had a hard week at work, how do you rest? I like reading. You do. Adele does a lot of reading. Adele reads many books, uh, quite often a few, in a week sometimes, it seems like. For me, I quite like just kind of sitting down and maybe just putting a bit of telly on and watching a bit of telly. Um, or maybe sometimes, sometimes baking, sometimes do a bit of baking for a rest, which is quite nice and enjoyable. You sleep a lot. Oh, yeah, quite. I like a snooze. I like a snooze in the afternoon, but that's maybe because I'm getting a bit old. But that's quite nice. Now, I wonder, how do you rest after you've been busy? Maybe you also like to have a sleep or watch TV or read. Maybe you like to play a computer game or a board game. Or maybe something else. One way that we as Christians can rest is by coming to church. And we've been so busy with school and jobs and homework and going to do things the rest of the week. But when it comes to church, we just get to rest and visit with God for a little while. And God likes it when we just rest in him. Now, I know it's been hard to do coming to church over Covid times and stuff but those things are changing now and this September we'll be meeting more face to face at church. The Sunday church services and the furnace will all be on uh, in person. Messy church will be back in person which is going to be so exciting. Our after school clubs and our youth clubs and various other groups are going to be in person. Times to be with others but also to rest in God. Let's finish with a prayer. Father God, we thank you for giving us so many good things to do to keep us busy throughout the week. But we also thank you for the chance to rest too. And we pray that you would help us to rest in you and in your love. And in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Hello guys, what are you doing here? It's the school holidays, it's time to relax and sit around the pool. It's been such a strenuous year. I'm just sitting here, soaking up some sun, pretending I'm away in the Caribbean island, and instead I've got myself a little paddle in the pool. Tell you what, let's go and make a smoothie to make us feel like we're on a nice tropical island somewhere. Relax our way through the summer. Right then guys, we're going to make ourselves a really nice coconut and pineapple smoothie to make ourselves relax. Just a bit like the Big G did on the seventh day. Create the world, the world was good. Time to relax and rest. And to make, help me do that, I'm going to make myself, as I said, a coconut and pineapple smoothie. So what I need for this is I need some crushed ice. I need some desecrated coconut some chopped up pineapple, a banana, and some full fat coconut milk. And you also need yourself a blender. If you haven't got a blender or a food processor or something like this, then you can just mix it all together and use a fork and make sure it mashes all through. So the first thing we need to do, okay, is get ourselves the banana, and peel and chop the banana, 
very quickly into slices. Okay. The other thing you need to do is make sure that the pineapple is chopped into slices as well, which I've already pre-done. And this is very simple. I like it when messy church is like this. Okay, so all you need to do is get your blender base and add everything together. Put in the, pot, the banana. Oop. Chuck in the pineapple. Chuck in the ice. Chuck in the coconut. Hopefully, I'm not going to make too much of a mess here. So we're going to put this, lock it into place, turn it round. I'm going to give it a burst initially for about a minute. Oh, it's just leaking slowly outside. So try not to keep it on for longer than about a minute if you're using the blender. may have to um, follow the instructions of whatever blender you've got or if you're just mashing it all together with a fork just spend a lot of time doing that and then once I've done that I'm going to take the top off this is going to be messy okay and pour yourself a glass coconut banana and pineapple smoothie guys have a great summer we will see you all september hopefully live in person for messy church god bless Shine from the inside out that the world will see
morning everyone. I'm going to do our prayers this morning. I hope you've all had fun doing your crafts or if you haven't done them yet I hope you have fun in the future doing them. Hope you have time now to find some quiet space so that we can do our prayers. Let's begin. Thank you Lord for your beautiful world, for all the gifts that you have given us. We thank you also for all the wonderful people who keep us safe. Thank you for our parents, for our teachers, and for all the doctors and medical staff who have looked after all the unwell people in this country and in the world. We also thank you for the clever people who've, all, who've organized the vaccinations and who are making sure that we all continue to remain safe and well. We pray for rest. As you did on the seventh day, Lord, we know how important rest is. We pray that our teachers are able to find rest over the next six weeks on their holidays. We pray that they return in September renewed and full of energy, able to help us in moving forward with our lives and to, that we're all in the same buildings doing everything together. We pray for our holidays. We pray if we go on holiday that we are able to remain safe. We pray that if we are staying at home and that we are seeing friends and family, that we are able to enjoy the freedoms and the times that we have together. We pray that we return to school also, renewed and full of energy in September, ready to learn and ready to continue in our journey on life. Lord, our country has returned to some new normals in the last couple of weeks. We've been given back some of the freedoms that we've had to lose while we were battling the pandemic. We pray, Lord, that we stay safe with these new laws, with these new rules, and with our new freedoms. We pray that we are in safe areas and that everyone that we are with remains well, so that we are able to return to spending time with our, those that we love and those that we enjoy being around. Lord, I pray that in these scary times, you please remind us that you are with us and that you are keeping us all safe. Help us to remember all our blessings and to celebrate all the wonderful gifts that you have given us. I'm just going to give us a, a couple of minutes just quietly thinking of all those things that we want to pray for ourselves. Lord, you know the prayers in our hearts. You know the things that worry us. You know the things that make us happy. Listen to our prayers and we bless you. Amen. Well, we've come to the end of Messy Church. I hope you guys have had fun. I hope you've either done some of those crafts or you've got some of them uh, prepared uh, to do later. I think later on I'm going to be having a go at uh, Adrian's smoothie because that looked very refreshing and I think I might have a nice restful smoothie just before I have an afternoon snooze I think. But guys just to let you know that uh, as I said come September we're going to have loads of things starting again which is going to be really really good fun. It's really exciting what's going to be happening Keep an eye on Facebook, OK, and you will see all the stuff coming up. All the notices will be on there so you'll know what's happening. But also this August, starting the 1st of August, we're going to have uh, all the church services, all the 1030 family services are going to be in the parish hall in August at 1030. And we're going to have brunch services so you can come along for the church service. It's going to be slightly shorter and we're going to have brunch at the same time. So we're going to have pastries and juice and muffins and all exciting things like that and a bit of fresh fruit. 
because we like to be healthy as well. So we're going to have that on our 1030 services all throughout August. And that's going to be fantastic in the parish hall. So come along to them. It will be great to see you. But I think that's it from us. Have a great summer holiday, guys. It's been really good doing these online ones, but we can't wait to actually see you in person. Have a great summer holiday. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.